remember the day we met That's a day I'll never forget It was lovely So lovely You asked me for my name You said if it's all the same girl Hey guys, today I want to show you how I get ready for a date night. So the first thing that I start with is of course skincare. I'm starting with the Ola Henriksen uh, On The Go Cleanser. This is my favorite morning cleanser. I absolutely love it. Wakes me up, has vitamin C in it, and it's just super amazing on the skin. I really love that one. Then I always love to follow up with a toner. So I use the Emergency Peach Toner, my favorite one. So I just put that on my skin just to remove any excess oil and dirt on my skin. This love just couldn't be then for serum, I use my favorite. This is a holy grail a serum. It's a true serum from Ola Henriksen. It smells incredible. It smells, it smells like the uh, cleanser that I use. It smells like oranges, has vitamin C in it. it, just really brightens up your skin. And I love this serum, especially in the morning time, because it gives me such a beautiful glow. Then for moisturizer, I use the Emergency Complexion Control Moisturizer. This has a lightweight uh, consistency to it, so it makes it sink into the skin really quickly, which is really nice before using any makeup. The last skincare product I use is the Kiehl's uh, Avocado Eye Cream. This is so nice. It gives me so much moisture underneath my eyes, but still it really sinks in quickly. So this is perfect. I use it both day and night. Prepping the lips with the Kors Lip Butter is my favorite way to prep my lips because it has so much moisture to it and I'm going to use a liquid lipstick later in the video, so it's nice to have a little bit of moisture. Moving into makeup, I'm going to start with my brows. So I'm using the Wonder Brow, uh, brow pomade gel type thing. It is really, really great. Makes my brows look pretty all day and night long. Super long lasting. Really easy to work with. I really love this eyebrow gel. It's my not an eyebrow gel. It's like a liquid brow product, but it is amazing. I really, really love this one and highly recommend it. You don't actually need to set your brows after you use the Wonder Brow, but I just sometimes like to do it to use the Isadora Eyebrow Gel, so just to kind of brush it out and make it look a little bit more natural. To clean up underneath the brows and also priming my eyelids, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Just as you can see, it to define my brows a little bit more. So I'm using this small detailer brush from Jane Ardell to do that. I do it both underneath my brows and also on top of my brows. I also use this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to prep my eyelids for eyeshadow later on. For eyeshadows, I'm using the Morphe 35O palette and using a really warm tone orangey uh, crease color that is perfect using the crease. I absolutely love this shadow. Also love that palette, highly recommend it. Then for some added warmth, I'm using Makeup Geek Mango Tango, also in the crease with a little bit of a smaller crease brush, a little more defined. This is such a pretty eyeshadow, I love using this one in my crease to just warm up my eye a little bit. I'm not repeating, no. and then to darken the crease a little bit, I'm using another Makeup Geek shadow. This is Bitten, and this is my favorite Makeup Geek shadow, I think. It is such a pretty eyeshadow. I absolutely love this. As you can see, I just apply this one on top of the other crease colors, but a little bit more precise. I do that with every single step. I do it a little bit more precise in each step. Then going into the 35O palette from Morphe again and using a darker brown color. I'm just going to apply this on top of the Bitten eyeshadow from Makeup Geek just to darken it a tiny bit more and even make it a little bit more warm toned. Going in with probably the prettiest color in the whole palette, this perfect light pink peach eyeshadow. It is so stunning to use on the eyelid. I absolutely love this. So I'm just packing this one onto my eyelid with my favorite MAC brush. 
Then I want to add a little bit of glitter on my eyelids. I'm using the e.l.f. glitter primer just on a flat brush to prep my lids before the glitter. And this is the Break the Eyes glitter from H&M. I'm just dabbing that one on top of the glitter primer and it stays really, really well and I really like this combination. Then I probably don't even need to say anything about this mascara. It's my holy grail. You guys know that drill. I say it in every video, but the Maybelline mascara is so so great. I used this before I apply lashes and I use uh, House of Lashes Vador lashes today. I absolutely love these. I think they're so pretty and perfect for date night because they're really flirty and pretty. Then to cover up the glue, I'm just using a black shadow. This is from Wet n Wild. So I'm just going over where I applied my lashes. Moving into the face makeup, I'm starting with a primer. I use Smashbox Light Photo Finish Primer. This is probably my favorite primer I've used. It really keeps my oil in control and I really do like this. Then I'm using this Inside Fluid Finish Foundation. A really beautiful foundation, has like a medium coverage. Definitely does not have a full coverage, which I'm used to. So it's a little bit different for me, but it is a beautiful, glowy, pretty foundation. concealer I'm using my new go-to which is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer this is really great concealer has a medium coverage and looks really really natural on the skin and blends in really really quickly looks really like healthy on the skin which I really like so I'm just blending that out with also the Beauty Blender I love the Beauty Blender and you know me, I have to highlight my face. It is extremely important for me. I just feel like it makes my face look a lot better. I don't know what's up with it, but it really makes a difference for me. So I'm just applying this one underneath my eyes, on my nose, and other places that I like to highlight. Also blending this in with, of course, the Beauty Blender. To set the highlight and the concealer, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is the Inglot uh, Sculpting Powder. This is actually my favorite highlight powder that I use. I think I just really really love this. It always works for me. After I've done my under eye, I just like to go in with the eyeshadows that I use on top of my eyes, the dark brown warm tone eyeshadows, and just blending those onto my lower lashes. Then I go in with the Stila Tiger's Eye Brown Kajal Liner. This is really pretty. I use this on my waterline. Then I just of course finish up with some mascara on my lower lashes. To set my foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder. Really nice powder, really lightweight and still makes the foundation look really pretty and glowy. One of my favorite parts of doing my makeup is doing my bronzer and I use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I really love this. This has quickly become one of my new favorites. Really love it. It looks natural and beautiful on the skin. Love it. For blush, I'm using Rimmel Adam Catwalk Blush. This is such a beautiful drugstore blush. It's actually one of my favorites. I really love it. Just look how pretty that color is. For highlight, I'm using the Mary Luminizer. This is probably one of my all-time favorite highlighters. Just look how pretty this highlighter is. I love it. It is so, so pretty. So I'm just putting it on basically a little bit everywhere. <laughs> To make my skin have a little bit more of a skin feeling to it, uh, instead of a powdery look, I'm using MAC Fix Plus, also make the highlights stand out with this one. Moving on to lips, I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Coco K Lip Liner to fill in my lips. This is such a beautiful light pink color. I'll meet you I'm also following up with the liquid lipstick in the same lip kit. This is really, really pretty, dries completely matte. I like to use liquid lipsticks when I'm going on a date because it really does stay on for a really long time compared to a regular lipstick. To lock everything in place, I'm using the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. This is beautiful to use just as a finishing spray to make everything last longer. Oh, this is my new favorite perfume. It's Mom Paris from YSL. My boyfriend also loves this one, which is a huge plus because we're going in date night. The top notes of this one is strawberry, raspberry, patchouli, and pear. So doesn't that just seem amazing? <laughs> the nail polish that I have on today is the She's My Bestie nail polish. This is so pretty. Oh my god, it's like the perfect light peachy nude color. So this is what I would do on a date night. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also comment what you thought about it in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!